Welcome back to another episode of the Bolton RTG here. We're in October where we have some fixtures coming up against Burton, Leighton Orient, Stevenage, Barnsley. We even maybe possibly get into November as well. We currently sit first in the league with only one loss. It's looking very decent for us. And it's looking real good for us for automatic promotion. We are six points off of Leighton Orient, who sit in that third spot. So we're looking good. Leave a like and subscribe, and let's get into it straight up. We're actually going to go ahead and sim to the end here, and we draw nil-nil. Darcy's Cogley got a, a yellow in the 21st. They got a red card in the 64th, and we couldn't capitalize on it, unfortunately. Zero shots from either side of the competition. So a point for each. First game up, we are taking on Leighton Orient here in League One. Can't find Williams, but Williams will win it back anyway. That's his That's his left wing back coming into play. And Williams now. And Williams is in front. And Williams can't get past the goalkeeper. It'll stay in bounds as well. Ogbeta doing God's work there. Mendez Gomez now. Probably player of the season for me with Mag Homer. Obviously, Mag Homer is still injured. He should be coming back maybe towards the end of today's episode. Or maybe next episode at some point. But he definitely should be back soon, sooner rather than later. And we definitely miss him. Thomason, Morley into Ethan and War. That's a great pass from Thomason or Morley, whatever one it was. And it's a great finish from the 16-year-old. Ethan and War he has a lead for Leighton Orient, for Bolton, against Leighton Orient. On the attack, it's still with Ford. We keep stabbing at the ball. Sooner or later, it will work. It did work. And now Mendez Gomez might be able to hit him on the counterattack with Ethan and Warrior. The 1 2 football nearly worked out. It will work out. It's Miles Lieber now in for Morley. Morley out wide for Williams. And Williams saved by Brennan out for a corner. For now. And Ford with the shot. Baxter with the save. But the little toe poke got put in. Challenge will amount to a penalty somehow. Just don't think that's a pen at all. It's Moncour on the penalty as Baxter with the save. Ball don't lie. Corner for Leighton. It's been a very back and forth kind of first half here. And they might even actually get the leveler here. It's Sotordo and he will get the leveler. And Leighton Orient will go to halftime 1-1. I spoke too soon. A little bit of EHEs for Leighton Orient. Morley on set corner. Santos on the header. He's gotten so many of those this season. Just can't connect to it now. And Adebayo will be coming off for Ethan and Warry. Over the top for Collins. He has fresh legs. And Collins might be in behind here. Collins going to cut back into Mendez Gomes. Now to Morley. Morley will turn. Morley will shoot. And Morley will horrifically miss. Four. Out wide. Now in the box. He's wide open. Moncur. And it's saved by Baxter. And out for a corner. So Toro now. The goal scorer. The equalizer. He wants the last chance. They're going to have the last chance here of the game. I didn't realize how late in the game it was. It's Sanders. It's Ford. It's Baxter with the save. It's out for a corner. Last corner of the game. We're looking at a 1-1 draw. Possibly a 2-1 loss. Unless we can't win this header. It's sore two, it's Archibald, it's Archibald again into Ford. We just can't get the ball. We just can't get the ball away from these guys. It's Sanders, go backwards, please. No, he doesn't. Sanders, Sortoru, shot blocked, and Darcy's Cogley will be able to clear it. That will be game over. And somehow, some way, we actually survived that last little stint there by Leighton Orient. We pick up a point only. It's not what we wanted, but it's honestly fully deserved as well. Next up, we do still have Steven Age in the lead. We are going to go ahead and quick sim this game. And it's a back-to-back -back draw. It's actually back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back draws. Three draws in a row. Santos and Leah Byrne on the score sheet. Reed in the 67th. And that was enough to get a point for both sides. We are going to go ahead and make a signing here. Bringing in Sebastian IBA for 300k. Over from MLS side, FC Dallas. He's 31 years old. He's just a bit of a squad that's a bit of a player, honestly. He played for my most local team. 
in the USL a couple of years back now actually a few fell years back now so he will join in January you can see a couple players that we have on the short list these guys have all been here since the start of the season these none of these probably will join to be completely honest the only one that I'm actually half interested in still is Adams because of his aggression on the ball his, he has great stamina his strength isn't the best but he's he's quite decent on the ball in the 90 aggression so he, he'll get after it. So Sebastian Ibega will join. He will be a backup player for Tuo, for Santos. And he's honestly just good squad depth in this team. He'll come in the next coming months. Next up, though, we do have Barnsley in the league. They currently sit in third. They are three points out of that top two spots with Peterborough. They're four points behind us out of the top spot completely. So a very, very, very important game here. A very tight game here, I suspect. Let's get into it. Only changes for us are Rams is starting at right wing back. Liverpool's unhappy with his playing time at the moment. So he's probably going to get the start for majority until we get into the end of January. Until where he's now at the club for the whole entire season. And then Collins is going to go ahead and start instead of Miles Learburn here away from home against Barnsley. A very important game. And here we go. A very, very massive game. I did put the difficulty down to legendary. Starting with that last game against Leighton Orient, and you can tell that it was a much harder. And it's kind of been much harder now. We've had three jars in a row here. Ogbeta into Sheehan. Mendez Gomez out wide to Ramsey. Ramsey now into Collins. Can we create something off the start of the game here? All the way out wide to Ogbeta. I really miss Mac Homa, but unfortunately, I was completely mistaken. He tore his ACL, so he's still out for three more months. Not three more weeks like I thought it was when I first looked at it earlier. Ethan and Wari trying to continue his fine form of this first season here with Bolton Wanderers. But yeah, Meg Homer is out for three months still. So he won't be back until the end of January. Or at maybe even some point during January. Williams now into Morley. Morley into Collins. And Collins is in behind. And Collins with a strike from a difficult angle. He'll get it past the goalkeeper. He'll find the back of the net. And Bolton really out of nothing out of this game. Will create something. It's 1-0. 28 minutes in. 24 minutes in. Crosscroft into Makate. Makate into Onif and Ogbeta. And that is going to be halftime once again. We go into the break. 1-0 up. I told you it was going to be very tight. And let me tell you, it's been very, very boring, to be honest. The only excitement was our goal. That's about it. Morley, Collins, Ethan and Worry now into Williams. And Williams is in behind. Williams on his left foot. And Williams will go ahead and double the lead here at Bolton. Or for Bolton, not really at Bolton. We're away from home. But Bolton will take a 2-0 lead. And we are looking to have a 7-point cushion against Barnsley here. Couple of changes for us. And a change for Barnsley as well there. But a couple changes for us. We have Miles Learburn, Charles, and Thompson all coming on. Ethan and Warrior will be coming off. Obviously, Collins off. And Mr. Men not Men yeah, Mendez Gomes will also come off as well. Williams into Morley. Morley into Learburn. And Miles Learburn trying to put this game to bed, even though it might already be sleeping here. Is Darcy's Carly coming on for that guy? What's his name again? Ramsey. I totally forgot his name. Completely blanked there. It's Morley into Learburn. And the defender got away. Morley now on the corner. And Alberto Santos to make it 3 0. Amiata Santos. We'll make it 3-0 for Bolton Wanderers. Vamos. And that's game over. All three points, all three goals belong to Bolton in today's game. And we go seven points clear off of Barnsley. We are going to go ahead and simulate slash tactical view this game here to end the episode off against Fleetwood Town. It's top versus bottom here. And Bolton should easily win this. Ethan and Wari on the attack already. Mendez Gomes now into Morley. Mendez Gomes will get it back. And Mendez Gomes will find the back of the net. It's 1-0 for Bolton. Just like that. It's 1-0. And he's hitting the gritty. 
Miles Learburn, is that going to spill in? No, nearly cleared off the line by the defender. Nearly doubling the lead there. And for Mayer, right before halftime, and Baxter with the save. And we are going to go to halftime again with another 1-0 lead. This time against the bottom of the table. I was expecting a couple more goals. Probably should have had a couple more goals. And it's Miles Lieberhorn trying to get the second off all start to a strong start. That was a mumble of words there. But second half, we started off strong here with Miles Lieberhorn in behind to make it two. Nil to Bolton. Miles Lieberhorn keeps finding himself wide open here. Can you do something with it? Ethan and Worthy. Oh, my Lord. There's the youngness coming out of him. That sounds mental. But he, unexperienced there, just couldn't find the back of the net. Still 2-0, though, for Bolton. Into Miles Learburn and Miles Learburn Showing why he should never got dropped that last game against Barnsley. It's 3-0 for Bolton here. Finally found our footing here in the second half. That is game over. A 3-0 win there. Vamos! When we come back next episode, we'll wrap up November pretty quickly here. I don't think we'll play any game, maybe Peterborough, and then we'll get into December as well. We might even get all the way into the start of the transfer window, obviously, maybe. We'll see what happens with that. But for now, we end the... Oh, we definitely will play Peterborough. Never mind, they're sitting in second. I don't know why I said we weren't. We definitely play Peterborough. That'll probably be the last game of this month that we will play. We sit first, and Peterborough right behind, only one point behind us, so they're very close on our tails there. We are seven points safe, though, off our automatic promotion spot, so worst comes to worst. We're looking good there for now. Until the next episode, leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.